Y'all already know who this is. It is Trey Hunter from Physique Reset. And today, what we're gonna talk about is the absolute best tips that you can follow. That way you're not gaining all your weight back during vacation. Hey guys, my name is Michelle Anita. Talia, Jazz, Marquita, I'm a physique. Product, 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 product. Period. Love to see. <laughs> a lot of people did the exact same thing, just like me. We lost that weight. We was killing ourselves in the gym. You was doing two days because you got this trip coming up, but you came back from this cruise. You get back on the scale. First off, you're afraid to get on the scale. Let's be real. And you just realize I did all this work for a whole entire month just to get it all back in two to three weeks. What is the main reason why a lot of people gain weight over vacation? It's the fact that all the things that you was doing in the past for you to get to this weight, you stop doing, which means A, you start eating more and B, you start to move less. It is really that simple. In order for somebody to gain weight, they gotta be in some form of a caloric surplus, which means they are giving their body more than it requires. Now, when we're on vacation, because we already kinda look good, we are feeling ourselves, and we feel like we worked hard, this is a time that we check out mentally and we start relaxing a little bit more. So what does that mean? Hey man, I'm not gonna do my two days. Which you shouldn't have to do, by the way, for you to lose the weight right and just to give you some insight working out does not help you lose weight working out keeps you metabolically healthy working out keeps you on this earth as long as possible working out does not help you lose weight you're just losing a lot of water weight that what makes you feel like you're seeing the scale drop when in all actuality it's the hormones that your body is excreting after that workout and you are actually making better choices because you're telling yourself hey i did this hard workout earlier let me try to be mindful of what i'm putting in my mouth so in order for you to lose weight it's all about you being in a caloric deficit and the best way for that to happen is by nutrition but a lot of people don't put two and two together so just remember it's not the working out that's helping you lose weight it's going to help you manage your weight keep it at bay what you put in your mouth is going to dictate if the scale is going up or the scale is dropping but when people's on vacation because you worked hard because you cut out all your favorite snacks all the alcohol you just cold turkey stop doing the two days you start incorporating the alcohol empty calories and you start eating all the foods that you desire and majority of the time is going to be empty calories as well the next time you go on vacation I want you to still follow some form of an intermittent fasting window. Why? If you're anything like me on vacation, you're just eating all around the clock. And because you're not privy to this food every single day, you're gonna be like, you know what? Let me have some of this passion fruit, right? Let me get some of these pancakes. I heard they got the world's best pancakes. Let me get some of these hash browns. Let me get some of these shrimp or grits. So you're just naturally eating more and you're incorporating more meals, which means you're incorporating more calories. But if you're somebody who naturally don't eat breakfast every single day, why you're eating breakfast on vacation now? I'm gonna give you a better alternative. If it is a time of day where you naturally do not eat and you want to have a meal now, I want you to have a protein focused breakfast, which means a protein based breakfast. So instead of you going on this vacation, let's say you had an all inclusive resort, they got the cereal out, they got the granola out, they got the parfaits out, they got the yogurt, they got the pancakes. Let me eat the omelet. Let me go to that omelet station asks for three to four eggs let me add some bacon some ham some cheese but let's say if you're a vegetarian okay i'm not gonna eat none of the eggs i'm gonna have a little bit more of the fruit let me have more of the watermelon let me have more of the pineapples let me have more of the berries i'm just gonna overall make a better choice that way i can save my calories and save my carbs for later the name of the game when you are starting your journey and trying to keep it off, you got to be intentional and be mindful of everything that you're consuming. But where a lot of people mess up at when it comes to vacation, it's just simply, especially if you're younger, you're going to start drinking more calories. So now you're drinking some orange juice. That's nothing but empty calories. And by the way, juice is one of the worst things to consume if you're trying to maintain your weight and not to bloat, by the way, because it has a lot of extra added sugar and that's going to cause you to blow okay another thing that you need to pay attention to especially if you're trying to look good on the beach throughout the whole entire vacation do not have a lot of refined carbohydrates or refined breads refined flours such as pancakes 
waffles, things like that. Because these things is going to make you naturally bloat due to the gluten inside of it. These are the little things that you can do for breakfast so you're not seeing the scale just shoot up off the rip. But if you start your day off crazy, nine times out of 10, you're gonna end your day off crazy. If you have this mindset, especially if you're somebody who's a all in, all out type of person that Hey, I already messed up earlier, I already had the mimosas earlier, I might as well get it out of my system. I'm gonna start fresh tomorrow. And you know you're on vacation, that's not gonna happen. So you need to start your day off right. And the best time for you to start your day off right is breakfast. So if you're somebody who do not eat breakfast, but because you're on vacation, you wanna have breakfast, make sure it's a protein-based breakfast. That way you're starting your day off strong. That's why they told you breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Not because Harvey Kellogg, yeah, Harvey Kellogg is the main person that promoted this, but because you want to start your day off with some protein, that way your body's not in a catabolic state. So don't just wake up in the morning, have nothing but carbs, have a protein-based breakfast. That way you're not only going to be satiated because protein is the thing that keeps you fuller the longest, but now you ate some calories, but it's not a whole lot of empty calories. Two, you don't have to follow an intermittent fasting window per se when you're on vacation. If you are calculated and intentional with everything that you put in your mouth, believe it or not, you can still expect to lose weight. You just have to be a lot more intentional. Now the people who calorie counts, they are more aware than the average person or the average American who's just trying to lose weight and just found some information on the internet. So they know, okay, if I see this chicken breast right here, this is about four ounces, that's 120 calories, right? That's about 24 grams of protein. They could kind of eyeball, hey, I'm having these blueberries right now, that's about a cup. Because they've been measuring out things so long, they have an idea of what they're consuming. So they are more intentional, which makes them appear as if they got this magical metabolism and the scale's not going up. It's not because it's a magical metabolism, it's because they got more information than you. So make sure that when you're on vacation, you're still following some form of a protocol you were following before you got on vacation. So what does that mean? What does that entail? Do not have a lot of processed foods. Yes, you're on vacation, right? But still have more of the fruit. Have more of the things that come from the earth. And make sure every meal on average has some protein in it because the name of the game is to still eat what you want but you are getting full and because you're getting full you're less likely to overeat with the bs we all know what happens when the case when chips come out when we in the mexican restaurant or in this case mexico or tulum you're just gonna keep grabbing and keep scooping because it tastes amazing but it's nothing but carbs and fat and they add a whole lot of sodium in it that basically fix your palate into consuming more because you're not in full so you just got to understand how the human physiology works if you're eating a whole lot of carbs that is already cooked in fat tortilla chips is nothing but fried tortillas and then you're scooping it with some queso you're tricking your taste buds to the point where your body is just like bro i never tasted nothing like this a day in my life you're just gonna naturally keep scooping more but if i put a chicken breast in front of you or i put some steak in front of you once you are full you're gonna want to stop eating because it doesn't taste as good as something that it is man-made all right, so just make sure you are still eating more whole foods. So even if you want a little bit more rice, even if you want a little bit more oxtails, even if you want sweet potatoes, even with a little bit of honey on it, I would rather you have that than you having that beef patty or you having that tres leche cake. Better yet, them taquitos. So just make sure you are still eating more whole foods in its natural state. And on average, that is not fried. But the main thing that makes people gain weight on vacation you are drinking a lot of empty calories coming from where alcohol so let's be real if you're anything like me especially you're young you're 31 or under you're just gonna drink just because you can you already got a bottle right and every single time you go and have a meal you're gonna have two to three drinks it's not gonna be a happy dad it's not gonna be a white claw it's not gonna be a truly it's gonna be a mango margarita it's gonna be a matrimonial margarita it's gonna be a lemon drop but every single lemon drop every single margarita easily has at least 25 grams of carbs now you notice how i keep pointing out carbs every single gram of carb hold on to three grams of water which means what you're gonna see that scale shoot up a little bit faster because now you're forcing your body to retain water because that's what carbs tell your body to do. Then once you overfill your body with carbs, your body's gonna start spilling over. 
with this carbs and with this glucose. And what your liver is gonna do with this extra glucose in the system, your body's gonna start converting this extra carbs to fat through a process called the novo lipogenesis. You're easily getting four to five drinks a day if you're anything like me on vacation. And that's easily about, do the math, about 100 to 125 grams of carbs just off the drinks alone. You didn't even have the right shit. You didn't even have the case with chip shit. So when you are on vacation, I want you to still try to cheat smarter. And the best remedy I could tell you to do when it comes to you having alcoholic beverages on vacation is have one drink that you want. Let's say you want a pina colada. Okay, cool. Have that pina colada. But the very next drink, tequila soda. Or oh, the very next drink, whiskey and Diet Coke. Or oh, what I tell my clients is bring Crystal Light with you on vacation. Why? Because now if you got the Crystal Light, you order that tequila soda, you put the Crystal Light inside that tequila soda, now you got tequila lemonade. If you like lemon drops, right? Believe it or not, if you type in sugar-free lemon drop mix near me, guess what's gonna come up? Boom. Simple as that. Or let's say you like margaritas. I'm a margarita poppy. Anytime I want to have any form of tequila when I'm out and about, I'm gonna bring, boom, this sugar-free margarita mix. Does that make sense? And now you're cutting back how many carbs you're having, which means you're cutting back on how many calories you're having, which means what? The scale's not gonna creep up as much because you're not having a lot of empty calories. And we already know what alcohol is gonna make you do. You're gonna throw that judgment out the window. Blame it on the alcohol. <laughs> That's what Jamie Foxx said. So now you're having the alcohol and now you say, man, I'm really on a diet, but mm, them fries are smelling amazing. Now you're gonna have the fries. When you're on vacation, you still have to have some form of a game plan. That way, because you are having some form of structure when you're on vacation, you're not gonna gain as much weight. Cool? Hopefully y'all learned something today. Once again, watch out for the empty calories on vacation. Watch out for the alcohol on vacation. You can have some, but don't go crazy with the crazy margarita mixes and the crazy lemon drops and the crazy gin and tonics. You're still eating meals that are protein based. Have the steak with the rice, right? Don't just have the chicken alfredo pasta. I physically see more carbs than protein. You should never have a meal like that. So even one thing I like to do is double up your protein portions every single meal that way you're going to get fuller faster to the point that you can't even finish off this pasta so if i'm gonna have this chicken alfredo i'm gonna have chicken and shrimp alfredo pasta and i'm gonna still eat more of the protein sources and then i'm start eating the noodles that way i'm getting fuller faster which means i'm less likely to overeat which means i'm not going to see the scale creep up as much on vacation that's what i teach my clients hopefully you can apply this to your life and that's your reset tip of the day that's gonna help you stay snatched all the time know the summertime talk to you soon